Howdy folks, welcome back to Daddy DIY. In today's video, I'm working on my John boat. So what the objective is uh, for today is to add a safety chain from my uh, post here to my boat. So what I want is a backup in the event this fails, this strap gives way, or the winch gives way, I want something else that connects my boat to this post here. So that's what I, my plan is for today. Now you may think, what are the odds of, of something like this failing? Well, that's happened to me before. Luckily, I wasn't on the road. I was at the boat ramp and I was winching up my boat and I had an old strap on here and I didn't realize that it had some dry rod on it. And under the load of the boat, trying to pull it back up, it snapped on me. So luckily I was able to rig up with some uh, standard straps I had in my vehicle. I was able to rig up something to hold the boat to the post to get me back home. But we're gonna fix that today and put a chain here, safety chain that connects the post to the boat. So now let's take a look at some uh, parts we'll need for this project. So let's do a quick rundown of the parts I'm gonna use for um, this project. Here I've got one foot of 5 16 uh, chain. It's rated for a 1900 pound uh, workload. And I think that should be plenty for this application. So what I did is I measured from the post here to my handle and I added a little room for margin and I got to about a foot so that's how I came up with a, a foot of chain for the connector I saw some quick release connectors you know the kinds you, you um, use with your thumb but they were only rated for like 300 400 pounds I didn't want to skimp on that the connector because if this thing were to fail it usually fails at the connection so I opted with the uh, this style right here, the screw down, and you see it's rated for 2,200 pounds working limit, so that should be plenty. Next, we need some bolts. I went with a grade A bolt. Grade A bolt, you can tell by, you see that? If you count the number of uh, little tick marks on the head, that'll give you, um, that'll let you know that this uh, your, your bolt is a grade A bolt, and these are gonna be stronger than your standard bolts. So I got a grade A bolt, I went with an inch and a half, Got some flat washers, got my bolts and some lock washers as well. So got my socket set and some ratchets are some tools you're gonna need. So let's get to so it. In my case, I don't have to uh, drill a new hole. This hole right here can take a 3 8 bolt. So this was already on the post itself. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and reuse uh, one of these holes already. Go ahead and mock this up. So the plan is the bolt's gonna go through here I've got the flat washer right here. And on the back side of this, what I'm gonna do is put a flat washer. So I put the flat washer on here. Lock washer's gonna go on. And then flat washer, lock washer. And go ahead and put that bolt on. That's what we're gonna do. So let me go get my uh, get my ratchet, get my socket, and tighten this up. And I'll be like, what I'm gonna do is uh, put my 14 millimeter with my electric ratchet on right here. On the back side, I'm gonna get my uh, 14 millimeter wrench, and I'm gonna tighten this up. And after I do that, I'll be right back. So I think I've got it snugged up pretty good. Got my ratchet out all the way. It's not going anywhere, it feels solid. And if you look at the back, my uh, lock washer is compressed. So that means it's putting resistance between the flat washer and this nut here to keep it snug so it shouldn't uh, come loose. Now, what we wanna do is go to the next step and let's put our quick release on. To the last step here, so what I'm gonna do, I've got my safety chain. Put that on there, slide it down. I can't fit over the handle. I'm gonna see if I can find a quick link that's rated for at least 2,000 pounds. Um, they can go over the handle, but uh, it will fit right here in the hole of this connector. And I think this will, this will do just fine. Because if this thing were to fail, typically it's gonna be this guy that fails or this guy that fails. Um, it's not gonna be this connector, this hook here that gives way. That's pretty, pretty beefy. So, 
Put it right there. Got it all good. I think I got enough slack in the line. So there you have it. Just added a uh, safety chain here to my John boat. Pretty straightforward. Hope this video helped you out. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.